A centenary celebration is a milestone event for any organization. Achieving this feat is only possible through the hard work, dedication and commitment of members over many decades. This year, the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Mandir, a bastion of Hindu culture and planning, celebrates 100 years and Sadhna was there to join in the festivities and reflect on the pioneering Hindu initiatives. My grandfather, the late Pandit Ram Lakhan Tiwari, arrived in South Africa in 1911. And after his five years of indenture, he settled in Clearwood in 1916. And that is when this temple was also established. So, as a young man of not even 21 years, his first priority was establishing a temple. And one can imagine that at that time, uh, they must have really been uh, short of resources and facilities. So a group of young people living in Claywood at that time then took this decision to establish a temple in Claywood so that the community can benefit. And that's how this idea of the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple came about. In fact, they originally called themselves the uh, Clearwood Young Men's Association. So the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple was established in, on 24 Sadar Road, Clearwood. And the sole purpose was then to provide a cultural hub, a religious hub for the people of Clearwood. And the focus was on disseminating information about Hinduism. And if you can understand the environment in which they lived, they had actually left this close association with their culture in India and come here as if they were broken away from the culture. So this was an effort to keep that link with the, with the Hindu culture. The Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple had a, a religious literature cultural group who used to meet on a weekly basis to read from the Ramayana. So you'll find that the Ramayana uh, formed the basis uh, or the springboard from which they could take Hinduism further in this country. When the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple in 24 Sadar Road was taken away by the then uh, Durban municipality, because now at the moment, the Southern Freeway is built on the land on which the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple was situated. So we had to then make a move. We had to demolish the temple and move to our present uh, premises, which is in 49 Greenfern Road, Mobeni Heights. But in the interim, in the period that we did not have any place. All our religious activities was conducted at the Sri Siva Subramanya Temple in Sadarod. The dome uh, is a very important thing because the, the Kalsa that is on the dome, on the top of this temple, is the original Kalsa that was in the Sri Lakshmi Narayan Temple when it was established in Clairwood. So that Kalsa is still uh, as old as 100 years old. It is filled with Ganga Jal, and we brought it, and it has been put at the top and the pinnacle of this uh, mandir. So that's an important feature. Another important feature are the murtis that we have on three sides of the temple. Um, that is uh, uh, murtis of Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesh. So the three murti. So it's a, they form the kind of three pillars of this, of this temple, and that's another important feature. We're going to acknowledge and recognize and give thanks 
to all those ancestors who have now no, who are now no more with us but who have had the foresight to start this organization so we are going to give thanks to them as if it's like a memorial to say thank you for what you have done and at the same time we are going to do a special prayer of thanks to bhagwan vishnu for having given strength to all these members to do the kind of work that they've done so it is a puja to give thanks we are hoping that we can train sufficient youngsters who can continue on the path that has been started by our predecessors in the early 1900s and the focus again is on teaching about hinduism good values and contributing in that way to a better south africa and to a better world